I switch game, so right back. Watch off stuff, stay gone. Back in two seconds.
I'm back. Rashan's hold up in his temple. Got any ideas to force him out of hiding? My research indicates that tigers have an aversion to water. By destroying that dam, the temple will be filled with a runoff. Flooding him out, huh? Good plan. But I don't think your bombs are strong enough to do the job. You're correct. Fortunately, while monitoring the bug in Rajan's office, I overheard that a new autopilot attack helicopter had just arrived. It's sitting inside this truck. Stay sharp. That dam is sure to be well protected. I hope so. flooding didn't work, so it's time to go the distance. Blowing up the temple's elephant mouth should turn this grotto into a swimming pool. I'll cover Murray from the chopper's gun turret while he pries the mouth open. Once that's done, Sly will need to walk the Cherry Bomb 500 into the throat. Then get to high ground as fast as you can. Rajan is sure to show up and be extra angry. Jump him, snag his half of the clockwork heart, and we're out of here. Okay, Bentley. All this will get moved to begin. Got something, I think. 
Jetzt ist der Begatter weg. Let's head out for the turret, Murray. All right, I'll set up shop here and provide covering fire while you try to pry open the elephant's mouth for slime. Check. those guards before you take a crack at opening them out. to the test and pry that thing open. Alert! Demo Masada for assault. Put down this attack! Get zoots! Rajan is raining down a bunch of hunter-seeker bombs on Murray. He'll never be able to get that mouth open unless I destroy all of them. triumphs again! The mouth is open! You're all clear to bring in the Cherry Bomb 500!
thunderbolts, my spice temple, ruined! I will no longer hide while you villains destroy my hard-won empire! This place is mine! Here I am king! Come, face me, Cooper! With Clockwork's black heart, I will show you true power! You are nothing! Come face the might of Rajan, Lord of these hills! Boy, when we try to tick someone off, we really do the job. Yes, you do seem to have quite a talent for it. Constable Neela, slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. All I'm after is the clockwork part. You help me take him down, and the bust is all yours. Just try to keep up. Sorry. What are you doing? Oh, fly! I'm coming, buddy! This is it? This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours? The, the Murray. All I see is a fat, pathetic weakling. I might be big and... Not as smart as the other guys, but one thing I'm not is weak. What happened? I to get better meaning. Photo delayed. Why is that related? Why out of sync? And why not that happen? Pathetic weekly.
it belongs to the Murray. Sly's gonna want this half of the clockwork heart safe and sound. Happy day. What? Neela? Throw down a ladder! Sly's hurt real bad! Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt! There they are, Contessa. Just as I promised. The Cooper gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent police work, Constable Neela. Carmelita's never been able to catch the Cooper gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. Well, I never... Really, Carmelita. Accept your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! This is a photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper. You two certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. I'll get you, Neela. Don't think I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes, indeed. I can't believe it! That double-crossing cockney liar! Though statistically improbable, I had to face the facts. Neela had betrayed us, my teammates were captured, and I was all alone. While intellectually inferior, Sly and Murray had always been a rich source of sociological interest. The long walk out of the jungle gave me time to reflect, and with each passing step, my sense of isolation grew. Shockingly, my comrade's absence had a profound emotional effect on me. This was it. This was the true test of friendship. Upon reaching the van, my resolve was hardened. I had to save my friends. But first things first, I had to learn how to drive a stick ship. took a sleepless week of data crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends, locked away in the mysterious Towers of Prague. At the moment, they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the Union was short-lived, as the General suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The 
widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's Good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes and I'll be out two best friends. What's wrong about that? Selling shoes? And of course you're a thief, man. What about... What was this one about selling shoes? I need shoes. Back in a bit.
Thank you. 
I'm back. <laughs> Didn't think. Think. That was a long way. I got back now. It took a sleepless week of data crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends. Locked away in the mysterious towers of Prague. At the moment, they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes and I'll be out two best friends. I 
it should make my way over to the Contessa's house. Maybe I'll pick up a few leads on the location of Sly and Murray. The Contessa is out making her rounds. Wait a second. The feathers on my sleep darts vibrate near sounds. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great. If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. The claw gang is falling apart. Spice shipments have all but stopped. <sighs> I never would have joined if I'd known it would be this easy to disrupt the plan. At least the Cooper gang is under lock and key. Their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. Ah oh well, they'll see it my way soon enough. Those fools at Interpol. They keep sending me criminals and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. I'm a genius! If only I had more spice to help me with a hypnosis. It Cooper Gang. The fat one. What's his name? Murray. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. I should spend a few sessions probing that feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. That's like Cooper. Such a complex and rebellious mind. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there week after week. He's seen that the guards along the wall all have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in. And I'll get to work on his mind. Inconceivable! She's no healthcare professional! Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of! Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot! It dishonors both law enforcement and thieves at the same time! I should get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole. Oh. I should never have said it. Said it. <laughs> yeah. I can song stuck in my head. I said that. Missed me. Bye. of a control system for the electromagnetic train. 
By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity, thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. Nothing like a good computer hack job. Now the left analog stick should control my cyber avatar. I'll have to, by using both analog sticks at the same time, I'll be able to move and shoot in different directions. That's one down. The train should be picking up speed. should speed up the train by at least 50%. Life. Now life in flight over.
the trains at full speed. Now, on to reverse the field's polarity. along the prison wall are outfitted with a motion tracking device. There's no way for Sly to escape. Unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. that sensuous voice of yours. Save the jocular comments for later. Do you see that hook above the train? Yeah. It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Then swing onto the back of the train. I've already established a safe house and downloaded its GPS coordinates into your binocucom. We'll rendezvous there. Wow, you've really thought of everything. Don't I always? <laughs> yeah, you do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, well, you know the old saying, if you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail, what kind of a friend are they? Truer words were never said, wizard. Nerd. Yeah, it's cool. situation. I've done some deep database crunching and figured out that Murray is doing time in cell block D. 
Getting him out is going to be tough. As you know, he's not very light on his feet. First, we'll need to get Murray into an isolation cell away from the other inmates. Second, I'll need you to get a sample of the Contessa's encryption algorithm. Don't worry, I'll explain later. Third, you'll need to pickpocket a few keys from the Contessa, but watch out for her pack of bodyguards. And fourth, you'll have to deactivate her giant attack robot. Now really, Sly, I'm serious. The Contessa has a giant attack robot. It just looks like a water tower. Now, once you've pulled off all these jobs, we'll be ready to make a play for the big guy. inside. wall. Sly! I'm so glad to see you. They've been forcing me to eat meals covered in spice. I'm feeling kind of strange. You gotta get me out of here. No problem. Bentley seems to have found a weakness in the solitary confinement cell. If you can get in a big enough fight, the guards will throw you in there. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Well, if you say so. I suppose a powerful force like the Murray could take down 50 foes, if I had to. Excellent. You beat the snot out of 50 of those guys, and Bentley and I will take care of the rest. Fifty. 
empty! Eat that, you incarcerating suckers! Is that antisocial enough for ya? Oh, what? You gonna throw me in solitary? Bring it on! <laughs> under the bridge feed power to the prison's security systems. I'll need to cut the connection to free Murray. Sounds like a plan. What do you need me for? As you know, the bridge is heavily guarded. I hear you. You'd like a little protection while you place the bombs. That's correct. Love to help out, but there's nowhere to hide on the bridge. We're totally exposed. That's true. To fool the guards, you'll need to break those statues and take their place. I pose like a statue. The guards walk on by, then pow! I hit him from behind. You're a genius. That's also correct. <laughs> here. Follow me to the top of the bridge. Cover me. 
Ready. I'm on the move. <laughs> Another one's in place. I'm moving to the other side of the bridge. the power to the security system. Problem. I'm an old hand at pickpocketing. This is going to be tougher than you think. The Contessa's no fool. Since your escape, she never goes anywhere without bodyguards. You'll have to take them out one by one in order to get close to her. I should probably use noise to lure them away from the Contessa. reach it. I could not. there huh? where where are my guards
I didn't do that to make him hit her. It's the <laughs> Those lazy bodyguards! They're all fired! Great work! Now we're all set up to steal a tank! I need a snack so I think.
I got some food.
I'd love to, pal, but I have no idea what you're talking about. All right. I'll explain it to you one piece at a time. See that security station? The guard nearby is responsible for its upkeep. I'm with you. First, I'll need you to pickpocket his key to the terminal. Sure. No problem. Then use it on the security station to set off the alarm. Hold up. You want me to set off the alarm? Yeah. Set it off, then clear out as the guard's sure to come running. Once he sees that it's a false alarm, he'll input the code to turn it off. So you want me to take a picture of the code? Move to a safe place and get a clean shot of that digital readout. Should I hit all the security stations out here? That's right. Once I've got a large enough sample of the Contessa's codes, I should be able to crack her encryption algorithm. Uh, now, see, you lost me again. Just take the pictures. I'll handle the rest. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice work. Now use that key to set off the security station. Okay, now climb to a good spot where you'll be able to get a picture of the security code on the monitor.
attack robot look Bentley with all due respect it looks an awful lot like a water tower don't be fooled that's what she wants you to think if we try to free Murray while that thing is operational why what we'll have plenty of fresh drinking water I'm serious Sly. of course I do owe you one the lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower and giant attack robot uh-huh yeah by turning the wheels on the rod, you should be able to redirect the electrical current away from its ground wire, rendering it useless. Follow the lightning strikes to locate all five rods. Okay, so you want me to break the ground circuit on all these lightning rods so that a bolt strike and destroy the giant attack robot posing as a water tower. That's an accurate summation. Get clear with a lightning rod start nice work. That lightning rod is out of commission. Look around for lightning strikes to find the other rods. Huh.
Thanks to your recent efforts, we're ready to attempt a Murray rescue. I call this plan the Trojan Tank. Step one, we use the Contessa's keys to steal one of her tanks. I'll jump in and drive while you keep out of sight by crawling underneath. 
With some luck, the guards won't notice anything out of the ordinary and open the prison gates for us. We casually roll in and then blast the security doors to Murray's cell block. Once inside, you'll need to improvise your way up to the guard control center and open the doors leading down to solitary confinement. Let's hope Murray hasn't cracked under the Contessa's hypnosis. Sly, I'm heading out for the tank. I'm inside the tank, increasing the ride height on the treads. <laughs> there, that should give you enough room. <laughs> Okay, Bentley, what's next? Well, that should be the guard's control center. But to be honest, I'm not sure how you're going to get up there. Don't worry about it. Thinking of my feet is what I do best. <laughs> Most of the security went down when we cut the power on the bridge, but a few lights seem to have a backup generator. Be careful. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I'm running your algorithmic code decryptor. You see anything happening down there? Success! We've got access to solitary confinement. Hot stuff. I'm heading down. seen Murray like this. He's all twitchy and bug-eyed. You said Murray was being forced to eat spice, right? Yeah, he said he was feeling weird. Well, he's weirded out all right. I doubt he even knows we're here. Clearly, we're going to have to lure him out of that cell the hard way. The hard way? Those hypno-boxes are designed to heighten the effects of spice, and he's already in an agitated state. So if we turn them all on at the same time, Murray's sure to become wildly hostile, and probably break down the door. How do we turn on the hypno-boxes? The power switches are all defended by laser barriers. When you get close, I'll hack the laser system from my terminal down here. That should give you access. Let's do it. Anything to help out old Murray. He's looking really bad. barrier. to turn on the hypno box. What's that sound? Angry! Get gone! I'll take care of the laser wall.
I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Tip me over and I'll smash up everything! Ah! I'm on it! Heaven. Sorry, pal. You're no angel. Just take a few deep breaths and try to center your thoughts. Okay. What's with all the racket? My conscious mind is a wreck. I ought to... The weak-minded hippo is free! And he's got friends! Hmm. Perhaps it's time to reevaluate some life choices. I'm serious. I managed to keep this half of the clockwork heart safe. It was hard to hide from the... Con Oh, Contessa! She's getting away! Hurry! Lift those crank bars so we can chase after her. I'm on it! No good head shrinker! Oh, come now, Mari. We were making such progress during our sessions. The only mental help that I need is to never be reminded of you again. Such displaced hostility. If you insist on getting angry, why not be psychologically productive and channel it at your so-called friends? I'm done talking with my mouth. Now I talk with my fists! Sorry, but our time is up.
We'll find her. With the three of us back together, she doesn't stand a chance. It was great! The gang had been reunited and it was all because of me! Even the van ride out of town was like a party! He had to pull over twice because he was laughing so hard. But despite all the jokes, I think something had changed. Since childhood, the three of us had never been apart. And our recent isolation gave us all pause for thought. Needless to say, we took a few weeks off before getting back to work. And for the first time in my life, Murray let me drive. The stream ends here, so I'll see you next time. Goodbye.